Today I just want to quickly look at signed and unsigned numbers. So we're looking at our things table here inside of our sample database. This is the table we created in a previous example video. And my thing ID is my primary key as I can tell right here. It is set to auto increment. And what I want to do is I want to set this field to be an unsigned integer. So I'm going to click on the pencil to edit. Now before I do this, I guess I should explain what signed or unsigned integers are. You can, you've heard of plus signs and minus signs. Well, if a number is signed, it means that you're allowed to have a plus or a minus sign in front of it. We never write the plus sign. We, if there's no sign there, we just assume it's positive. But you can put a negative sign in front of something to make it a negative number. Unsigned integers, if I go into the attributes, column here, I can set it to unsigned. This means that my number can never have a plus or minus sign in front of it, which means it will always be positive. Great thing to do for um, fields where you're storing money values, if it's the price of something, because you're never going to have a negative price for something, or for primary keys. If you want to keep track of what number, what's the primary ID for something, unsigned is a perfect thing to use. That way, instead of the number range being negative 65,000 to positive 65,000 is your allowed number range, you can say, no, no, it's going to be starting at zero and going up. So I have that full range of numbers. Um, so once I've made that change, I click Save. And now in the attributes, there it is, unsigned, which means this is positive numbers only, which just gives me a larger range of numbers that I can work with.